Golf has been played in Fife for well over 500 years and Fife is rightly regarded as the home of golf. Today the game is played by a staggering 60 million worldwide. It's possible the game came over from the Low Countries as trading links with Fife have always been strong. There's nothing in the archives which gives a clue as to who invented the game or when it was first played. There have been many games played with stick and ball, but the Scottish version was the only one where the ball had to drop into a hole. The game could only be played where the grass is naturally short, so the links found on the Fife coast, with poor soil, wind exposure and rabbits, all combined to create the ideal conditions. Perhaps the original bunkers were sand dunes and the hole a disused rabbit burrow. One such natural example is to be found at Fife Ness, a few miles out of town. Crail Golfing Society was founded in 1786 and is the seventh oldest golf club in Scotland and only the Royal and Ancient is older in Fife, with whom it shares the distinction of having a complete set of records since its foundation. It's clear golf had been played here for many years before. The first meeting was held in the Golf Inn, the landlord Daniel Connolly being one of the eleven founding members, the inn existing prior to the formation with its now often copied name. Tom Morris Sr. designed the Balcomi links for the Crail Golfing Society in 1895. At that time he was 74 years old and charged a pound a day plus expenses. He had originally worked for Alan Robertson, maker of feathery balls and celebrated golfer of St Andrews, and was later appointed keeper of the greens at Prestwick. Under his tenure the inaugural Open Championship was played in 1860. Four years later he returned to St Andrews as professional golfer and with the aid of two labourers, a wheelbarrow and a few basic tools, revamped the old course. The layout of courses in those days was much influenced by the need to follow existing terrain due to the limitations of manpower and equipment. The existing lay of the land was therefore crucial. Balcomi Links was an ideal site for development by Tom Senior. On the 3rd of July 1895, watched by several hundred spectators, Professor Sheen, descendant of one of the founders, struck the first ball, and Old Tom struck the second, and the course was open. The Second World War saw the course mined, trenched and covered with pillboxes and barbed wire against the threat of invasion. Sochop Links, once part of the Crail Golfing Society, was also under military occupation and is today a caravan site. Alex Hurd, Open Champion in 1902, played much of his golf there in the 1880s while working as a plasterer in Crail. Land adjoining Balcomi was acquired in 1990 and eight years later Craig Head Links was opened, designed by Gil Hans, an American who has a wealth of knowledge and has combined some of the best aspects of this country's classic links at Craig Head. With outstanding panoramic coastal and country views, it's perfectly located to the south of the clubhouse. Today, Crail Golfing Society offers two 18-hole courses, Balcomi and Craig Head, a first-class clubhouse and welcomes visitors. Non-golfers have their own car park and can enjoy walks across the links.